shift over to the Aussie dollar, US dollar. This is a very weak market and really only setting up on the short side as per our work here. So let's highlight why we have now actually violated this key low right there at 64.57. There is a, a minor low that's due on the weekly right now, as well as a daily low due right now. But that says a bounce is not likely to hold. And we would look, be looking for this to fail uh, up around 66.09 to around 67.20 in that zone. And then for this to roll back to the downside again. Uh, so a key high that has likely now formed in the Aussie dollar versus the US dollar. Now in terms of our fibs, we would need to hold below the 78.6, right around 67.98 for this to stay negative. And uh, obviously we are all the way down here at 64.54 or so. So uh, not seeing any good odds of a sharp move through that 78.6, but do have to lay out that key line in the sand on the upside for you. In the short term, you can see that all of these cycles are due to form lows now. Look at this period of risk. Rallies failed, rallies failed. That's exactly what you look for even right here. Rallies have failed in that case as well. So just really highlighting why it's so important to keep track of these period of risk on both the weekly and daily and the price action that happens during that period of time. So right now, there is, as I said earlier, both a minor weekly low as well as a minor daily low. We'll be looking for this to give a short-term bounce. There's a, a 161.8 right around 64 even. We are very close to that level where we'll be watching for this to, to give a bounce. But as I said, given that we have now had a breakdown on the intermediate term, that says that the dominant energies are all pushing to the downside and that this rally is uh, in all likelihood doomed to fail.